Polk School District, close to many things, we are still a rural area and we believe in hometown values and bringing those values to um, the classroom. Teacher is working in a small group setting for guided reading instruction and this allows us to differentiate the reading instruction for each student. Polk County, they've allowed us to have a resource there, officer mm -hmm. in every school and um, that's invaluable. Mm -hmm. uh, our kids are safe. He's truly the best of the best. That are very important today from safety issues to mental health. Things we weren't trained on that we we're expected to be able to answer the call for. One thing that our school board continues to do is collaborate um, to continue with professional learning communities and just time for teachers to uh, sit down and uh, plan engaging lessons uh, together. Uh, none of that would be possible without the board's support. We're very thankful for that. We're here to personalize and that experience for each and every person that walks through our doors. They want the best educational experience for students, but they want well-rounded students that become citizens that give back to our community. And that's our number one focus, especially for this year is academics, increasing student achievement. And I feel like everything I have asked the superintendent for and to do, she has agreed to. And I think that the school board is behind that 100%. And we're trying to create a, a better, brighter future for Polk County and Polk County citizens. And the only place that can happen is in school. The school district had all the cafeterias modernized and decorated. So these are new tables. Those are new wall decorations. This district, I can tell you, is very supportive of the arts. It's awesome. The students, they love it. They want to engage. They want to determine the meaning of works of art. And this helps them be critical thinkers um, for the future. Yes, graduation rate is extremely important. But we focus on what happens the day after graduation, preparing you for that next day. Uh, diploma in hand, what's next? Um, the thing that makes this district great is how well the community will work together. From the bottom of my heart, that this county is a county when you work here, you realize that you're cared about, you're supported, you have leaders that back you, and you never feel like you're left alone. When you step foot in Polk School District, you are embraced with a culture that one, believes that you matter as an individual, but also believes that you have the potential to do whatever it is that you set your mind to. Our school board, to say they've been supportive is an understatement. As you toured our building, you saw our athletic facilities, our fine arts facilities, our college and career, all those things have had a lot of input from our school board. They support us in every way possible. Anything I ever go and ask for, they find a way to get it for us. Uh, we try to work really hard at breaking down barriers. Coming up, we'll have a about a 93% graduation rate this year, which will be the highest in the school. And I attributed a lot of it to the, the work that our school board puts in providing all the fine facilities and, and anything that gets in the way of kids finishing school. The support that our school board provides to the teachers and the parents and the students in our community. Look at the food provided in our awesome lunchroom, our pathway options, our life skills class. We're taking care of the whole child and not just their educational needs. Brad Polk is just one of our part of our wraparound services where we have a food pantry in here, we have a clothing closet, um, we have washing machines and dryers available. Anything that we, will help a kid stay in school, we try to take those barriers away and we use it through our Grad Polk wraparound services. And so we focus on those college and career opportunities here to be able to provide college classes on our campus through the dual enrollment program. Students have to complete a pathway for graduation. Um, we have approximately 12 pathways um, from the industry, from healthcare to agriculture to construction, engineering, um, computer science, and uh, graphic design superintendent. She was instrumental in opening this academy, and so the school board is uh, wonderful and backing partnerships with our community. I think we've had 21 welding state champions come out of this program. As a board, when we hired Dr. Thomas as our new superintendent and her leadership, she is a phenomenal leader. Here you'll see our mobile learning buses, and this is a resource that we're going to take out into our community to reach our families. Um, we firmly believe here in Polk School District and meeting people where they're at, and it's equipped with lots of activities, books, math manipulatives, whatever we may need. We're the heart of the community, and our community succeeds as well, and that's what we want to see here in Polk County.